It's just gone 7 a.m. this Friday morning and we go straight to the news with more information on the bizarre occurrences taking place on South Africa's roads today. Sally. Yes, Nick. Today's top story. Traffic anomalies and disasters on SA's roads as people leave Cape Town for a long weekend. An accident on the northbound exit. A tanker has overturned spilling its cargo and the tailback is at the very least two to three kilometers back. We'll keep you updated on potential detours. Oh, two to three kilometers. <laughs> the driver says he's been tracking down this route for the last 16 years, but however came to have never seen this traffic circle. That must have been quite a surprise. In other news, a group of school children are stranded on the side of the road, unable to cross due to a lack of a zebra crossing that authorities claim was there yesterday. In Johannesburg, all traffic lights have turned red this morning, causing serious delays. And to top off all the mayhem, all mobile phone signals are down. We're going to have to start using those landlines, Bob. Some are calling an elaborate practical joke. However, the scale and flawless execution of these jokes is causing some people to look to the sky for answers. UFO enthusiasts are likening these events to the inexplicable nature of crop circles. This is some scary stuff. This is serious. This is really I don't know, honestly, it's, it's like something out of science fiction. What I don't understand is how come radio signals aren't affected. Television signals, radio, internet, they're all up and running. It's yeah. just... Do you believe this could be aliens? No, 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 this is definitely a government conspiracy. So you don't believe in aliens? No, I do, but if I had the technology of interstellar transport, I wouldn't play practical jokes on an inferior planet. Yeah, well, I think that's exactly what you would do. But anyway, but before we get carried away, let's return to... So tell me about the monkey and the squirrel and the life in the tree Did they live to be a hundred or did they die in agony? And there's two kinds of people, yeah, two kinds of people with me And they'll step on one another just to make it through
describe this phenomenon. I, I really wow. I don't even know what to say. Charlene from uh, uh, the and says that there's been a huge accident outside her. Tell me about the monkey and the squirrel and the life in a tree. 